Welcome to Safe to Code 101. In this episode, we will cover uninstalling Safe to Code remotely through the Safe to Code Management Console. In this training, we will do this in four steps. First, we will select the device we wish to remove Safe to Code from. Next, we will uninstall the endpoint client only. After that, we must restart the device. And finally, we will remove the Safe to Code agent. In this training, we will be uninstalling remotely but you can remove Saitika from devices locally. This is covered in another training. Local removal of Saitika does require you to allow this in the management console. Since we are remotely uninstalling, we will navigate to Endpoint Management and then select Uninstall. From here, we can uninstall both the agent and the endpoint client. In most cases, you will want to remove both at the same time, but for this training, we are separating these steps. So we will select Uninstall Saitika Endpoint Client and also force a reboot on the machine. Now we must select the devices we wish to remove Saitika from. In this training, we will select Scott PC. Click Finish. Before the uninstall can begin, you must hit the check to save your work. We can track the uninstall process by hitting the refresh button in the Safetica console. It will show each step by using a series of ones and zeros. Once the one moves to the waiting for reboot column, the device will automatically reboot. Now that the device is back on, the Safetica endpoint client should be removed. We can check this by refreshing the Saitika console. If we see SA in the icon next to the device name, the endpoint client has been properly removed. All that remains now is to remove the Saitika agent. To do this, we must go back to the endpoint management and drag the scroll bar to uninstall the Saitika agent. If you forget to save your selection, Safetica will remind you. We will refresh the page a couple more times to make sure the uninstall is in progress. Once the one moves to succeeded, the agent has been properly removed from the machine. Now let's go back to the dashboard to check our work. We now see that the icon next to Scott PC is grayed out, indicating that Safetica has been removed completely. Thanks for watching this episode of Safetica 101. This training introduced you to some of the many features and capabilities of Safetica. For more information, please visit our website at corporatearmor.com or call us at 1-877-449-0458.